Hello and welcome to this video on how to use um, ArcGIS um, using a spreadsheet that you've created in Google Sheets um, or indeed uh, Excel. So assume you've got a spreadsheet with your results from your fieldwork. Um, you should have um, the name of a place, um, the latitude and the longitude for it. And if you don't have the latitude and longitude for it, um, you can simply go into um, latlong.net type in the name of the place and then you can just click on any location and it will come up with the um, latitude and the longitude um, that you can then copy and paste into your results sheet. Um, you've got your variables, whatever they might be, um, and this is your um, data uh, sheet. Now, to move forward to get it into ArcGIS, a digital map, um, we're going to download it first. Um, we go to File. And we're going to download it as a comma separated values or .csv. So we're going to click on that. And there we go. It's downloaded at the bottom. So let's open it up. It's now um, an Excel document. And um, I'm just going to widen these columns so we can see what we've got. Um, we're going to save this um, in our Chromebook or laptop. Or wherever so we go to file and save as um, I'm going to save mine in my fieldwork um, document I'm going to call it results sheet for northward fieldwork um, 2022 and I'm going to go ahead and save it before I do I'm just going to make sure it says CSV comma delimited if it doesn't uh, you just click on the down arrow and scroll up and down until you find that. So that's really important to do. So CSV Comedy Limited. And let's go and save it. Uh, it comes up always with this um, message. Just click yes. And now we're kind of ready to get it into ArcGIS. So we go down here and we can open up a Google tab. And we just simply type in ArcGIS. Enter. And the first thing it will come up with is the ArcGIS online site. So you can go ahead and click it. And it will take us to this page here. Um, don't worry about signing in. You don't need to. You can do it for free. At the top here, we can see map. And we're going to click on that. And it will open it up into a map. But we don't want this. Um, up-to-date map we want the older one which is the open in map viewer classic so we will open up the older version and here is the base map now the magic's going to happen we're going to import our data into this map so if we go back to our folder where our um, uh, results sheets are we're going to import. If it opens up and looks like that, just um, go to the top and um, sort of half minimize it um, so that you're ready to um, get your, your document in. I think this one's mine. Here we go. Results sheet for Northwood Fieldwork 2022. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to drag it all the way over to the map. So I'm over the sea and let go. And by the magic of technology, my results <laughs> have been imported into a map. Now, at the moment, it's showing the name of the place. So with a colored dot, it's showing my different locations, which is fine. But I would like to show some data. So if you click on this down arrow under circle number one, um, it can show you all the things that you want to plot. So let's go to litter. And there we go. By the magic of technology, my lit account um, has been represented by a proportional circle. And the key um, is here. Now, some of these dots are quite small and they may be difficult to, to read. So what you can do under number two, select a drawing style. Um, if you click on options, um, you can actually change the symbol. Um, they've got all sorts of different colored symbols. And I'm just going to click on keep it on the brown circle for the time being. Now, if you scroll down, 
Uh, where it says size, if you think that the size of your circle is going to be a little bit too small when you print your map, um, you can actually increase it. So I'm going to go all the way up to 20. And you can see that the minimum size um, for places with less than eight pieces of litter is now more visible. You might then want to proportionately increase the maximum size. I'm going to go up to 70. And there we have um, some proportionate circles. It's really easy to see, isn't it, um, where the larger um, values are. Um, in this case, litter count, it could be an environmental quality, it could be numbers of vehicles um, and so on. Um, so that is your map. Now what to do with it? Um, very simply, um, you can print screen. And if you print screen this, you can then paste it into a Google Doc or a Word Doc and you can crop it um, to get rid of all the peripheral stuff. Um, you can add a title and you can have arrows, text boxes to annotate it. Um, so that is how you use ArcGIS um, using Google Sheets or if you were already in um, Microsoft Excel.